Good morning, Marshfield. Welcome to this edition of Before the Bell. I'm out Anthony the special Molander. shirt for you. I'm Sam Bernard. It's a great shirt. Thank you. I appreciate it. Me and Tony actually slept in North Station last night, so we apologize if we mess up any of these reads. We're a little, we're a little tired. Yeah, we, we had a great to, night watching, to the Fenway game. watching the boys play at Fenway Park. Well, yeah. But let's get right into the news, Tony. Here we go. Attention juniors. The next prom committee meeting will be held January 18th, which is... I don't know when, after school, in room 103, come with ideas for fundraisers, themes for vision boards, and slideshows. All juniors are welcome to attend. Please email Mrs. Weber with any questions. And Get to the prom meeting. You got to make it good. I say yeah. it every time. I'm going to be there. So if you guys aren't prepared, I don't know what to tell you because I'm, I'm bringing be the funk. I'm, I'm ready to rip up the dance floor and just get, get active at prom. And in other news, as you know, us telecom students have been working very hard on our good look pieces and editing, getting film. And today we have a great video showcasing anatomy made by our very own Samuel Francis Bernard, right to my left, Jackson Graham and Jack Marini. So let's send it to that. I think there are a lot of reasons why students should take anatomy. I think uh, obviously if you want to go into the medical field or health sciences or anything in that, even bioengineering, it's a, it's a great course to take. And uh, high school anatomy here has a very big overlap with college anatomy. Well, I'm majoring in biology, so I thought it would be helpful for my major. And I thought the teachers were nice, and I thought the class would be a nice challenge. You know, I decided to take anatomy because uh, I wanted to take a uh, class that was both challenging but also engaging and fun, and I think it's the perfect level uh, of difficulty while also remaining uh, engaging. My favorite part for teaching in anatomy is, it varies a little, I guess. It's, I think it, it's like that moment. So it happens a lot during dissections where like you'll hear a group go through a process of dissecting something and then they go oh my god like that's amazing and that's incredibly satisfying to like see a kid make a connection from the content that you're delivering to they're actually um, discovering it on their own. Anatomy's been great to uh, me as a student and my education because it's definitely made me uh, a more diligent studier and taught me better uh, time management because you got to study for well, I think the coolest part of anatomy is that any student can take anatomy. So um, if, you are, if you're a hands-on learner, it works for you. If you're a textbook learner, it works for you. If you're a collaborator, it works for you. Um, if you like doing activities on your own and independently, it works for you. So I think we have all different levels, honors, level one, level two. We have different paces. Um, and filled with all different types of students. If you're a serious athlete, I would strongly recommend taking anatomy as, as soon as you can. Um, understanding how the muscles work and how the joints work, and it's just gonna make you that much better at whatever sports you're, you're working on. Anatomy is different from other science classes because it is obviously the best science. Go. Well, I take anatomy. Jeez, hey I take now. anatomy. Hey now, Tony. You know, sleeping on the, the North Station's got me tired. Yeah. I take anatomy. Mr. Bermel is my teacher. I've learned so many things this year, stuff yeah. I had it's no idea. It's a great idea. class. Everyone should take it. I took it last year. I had Mrs. Pitts. It was a great class. Probably my favorite, one of my favorite science classes. It's, it's great. Learn about the body. You know, everyone has a body. So take that class. It's great. Yep. But anyways, in other news, the first meeting for the Ballroom Dance Club will be today, January 12th, in the Yoga Room from 2.15 to 3. They'll be learning to swing. Hey, anyone trying to get groovy, head over to that meeting. Please see Mrs. Whipple in room 227 or email her at rwhipple at mpsd.org with any questions. I'm trying to get groovy, Tony. Sam, I can't dance. I'm not a very good dancer. I can get sturdy real quick. Yeah, Sam, Sam's ready to bust a move yeah. at any time. I, I, I gotta get there. I'm, I'm itching to dance. Itching now. <laughs> and auditions for Mamma Mia will start Monday, January 23rd and go through Wednesday, January 25th. Monday is vocal auditions, Tuesday is dance, and callbacks are Wednesday. All students are welcome. Audition materials are available outside of room 172 
and email Miss Scanlon with any questions. Tony, that was a great read. That was a great, great read from you. But that's a Miss Scanlon's awesome. That I'm sure that show is going to be amazing. You know, go, go, yeah. go! Have a nice go, opportunity. Go try out. I think my guy Bryson Tubbs should try out because I know he has a great voice. I know you're in there, Tubby. Listen to me right now. You should try out for that. But, anyways, that's all we have on news for today, yep. guys. We hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Send it, to, send sports. it to sports. 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 New part of the day, new seat. I'm Jackson Graham, by the way. Last night, the boys' hockey team played against the Tuffingham team in a scrimmage at Fenway Park. It was awesome. They played a hard game, but unfortunately fell 3-2. to two. Besides the score, the, the game was electric. Such a fun experience for everyone. I'm sure the players were buzzing on that ice, having a great time. We have a camera. Uh, the camera quality wasn't the best on this field report due to the temperatures, but we do have one. So let's send it to that. Teddy DeVoe here with two mighty fine Rams, uh, Kevin Murphy and Tommy Carroll. How does it feel to play at Fenway with such a crowd? felt amazing. I mean, I never thought I would be given this opportunity, and it was just electric. That's great. That's great. Tommy, opening goal for the Rams. You tied it up. How does that feel? Um, you know, it's, it's a surreal feeling to finally step out on that ice there after a long wait, and i got to give a thanks to Marshall Hockey for setting this up. It was an absolute blast and something I'll never forget. That's great. Uh, send it back to the desk. Uh, the hockey team adopted Nick Sorley for the game. He was in there all night getting great clips. Uh, he will have something either tomorrow or Monday. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. In other news of sports, <laughs> yesterday the wrestling team had a tough match against a very strong Silver Lake team. We have a field report from a couple of top performers, so let's send it to that. What's up guys, this is Sam Gracia with MSB Tier tonight after a tough wrestling match uh, against Silver Lake. Aiden, you were back on the mat tonight after an injury. After missing some time, how were you able to get back into form against a tough opponent tonight? Uh, you know, I gotta thank my teammates, they've been pushing me ever since I've been gone. Um, they've been great to me, I've been doing a lot of rehab, uh, trying to get back in the swing of things. First test out today against a great opponent and I was good enough to get out the, get the win in that, so it feels great to be back. That's awesome, good response. Alex, you had a tough game tonight. How were you able to put together an aggressive strategy to go against a tough opponent? Uh, honestly, just drilling everything I can do in practice, um, having good practice partners. Uh, we have alumni that come back to help us get more intense workouts. So honestly, just putting everything into practice and my teammates putting everything in made it happen. Awesome. Roll the Rams. That was a tough loss, but nobody works harder than those wrestlers. Those wrestlers, they put in a lot of work, long practices, long meets. Marshall and Hanover swim and dive beat Hainum 90 to 80 uh, in a meet. <laughs> Audrey, <laughs> Audrey Hannigan was a double winner in the 200 and 100 freestyle. Brenna Short won the one meter dive. Rachel Ruminier won the 500 freestyle. And then the re 200 relay, Callie Belazos, Addie Rhodes, Sue Min Yun, and Audrey Hannigan took home first place. The boys also beat Hingham 89 to 77. Jay Forden, Jordan Palmieri, Alex Wong and Nathan Moykins finished first in the 200 freestyle, with second and third place going to other teams comprised of Marshfield and Hanover swimmers. Jay Forden also won the 100 free, Nathan Moykins won the 500 free, David Penny won the 50 free, and Cam Pope won the one meter dive. Swimming That's is hard. It is not easy. Those kids put in a lot of work. I Got went to one practice, just one. Great results for them. Awesome season they're having. A lot of kids qualifying for states. I couldn't do it, but a lot of other people can. That's all that we have for you today, Marshfield. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash before the bells. You can also follow our Twitter at MSBTV or check out our TikTok at MSBTV. As always, Marshfield, cough near your elbow and have a spectacular Thursday.